I think the I'll I'll cover this real quick just as a little bit of review from yesterday. So you said the last thing we talked about yesterday was complimentary, is that right? Supplementary, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what we're going to do next, complimentary. So let's say we had something like this. And let's say, I don't know, that was 40 degrees right here. And what's this angle right here going to be? It's going to be 140. We talked about this. So 40 and 140, if they add up, what do they add up to be? 180. So 40 plus 140 is equal to 180. 180 degrees. These are degrees. Anytime you have two angles that add up, to be 180, we call them supplementary angles. Now, they don't have to be right next to each other. They don't have to be adjacent. They don't have to be a linear pair. I could have, and I think we mentioned this yesterday too, didn't we? I'll tell you what, I'm going to make this just look a little different. So we kind of started talking about this. All right, let's just, now I don't know if these are very accurate, but just make this real skinny. We'll say that's 20 degrees, and this would be, let's say, 160 degrees. Now look, they don't, they're not adjacent angles, are they? They don't form one straight line, do they? They're two completely separate angles. They don't share anything in common. They don't have a common vertex. They don't have common sides. But they are two angles. And those two angles happen to do what? Add up to be 180 degrees. So even though that these two angles aren't even connected to each other at all, they're still two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So we still call them what? supplementary angles okay we call them supplementary angles does that make sense we mentioned this yesterday let's talk about it again remember I said if this was 40 this was 140 what if this angle right here is 50 what would this be 130 what if this was let's say this big angle right here was a hundred what would this angle right here be it'd be 80 you get it right what if this angle was X degrees what would this angle right here be it's not x minus anything. Say it. It would have, would this angle be 180? No. Summer, say it. 180 minus x, right? It'd be 180 minus x. That's what that angle would be right there. So if one angle is x, what's the supplement? All right, that's the word for supplementary, right? So one angle is a supplement of the other. If I say that one angle is a supplement of another, that means it adds up to be 180. So for instance, if this was 50 degrees, I could ask you, what is the supplement of 50 degrees? What would you tell me? 130, right. It's the angle that adds up to it to make 180. Does that make sense? So if I say what is the supplement, that's what it would be. So what if I said, what is, let's write this down. What is the supplement of an angle. Now, I didn't tell you what the angle is, did I? So if it says the supplement of an angle, I don't know what it is, so you call it x, right? So what would the supplement of that angle be? What's your answer? 180 minus x, that's right. So you're going to actually have a word problem, I believe. Can I see your worksheet? I think you have a word problem on here, don't you? Yeah, it says, it says something about supplement of an angle. Yeah, why is it you on Yeah, number eight, right there. See number eight? Seven and eight, actually. Now, seven says complement. We'll talk about that in a couple minutes. But look at number eight. It says the measure of the supplement of an angle. Everybody see that? So that little phrase right there, when it says the measure of the supplement of an angle, what do you write down when you see that phrase in that word problem on number eight? 180 minus x, exactly right. Everybody see that? So when it says the supplement of an angle, you're going to write down 180 minus x. Now, if they refer back to the angle, what's the angle itself? It would be x, that's right. So the angle itself is x. The supplement of the angle is 180 minus x. Does that make sense? Okay, so you're going to see that on some word problems. It's very important that you know what that means. We'll uh, work one of those examples a little in a, in a few minutes. Let's go to the next word. Not supplementary, but what word did I mistakenly say earlier? Complementary. All right, so uh, let's just do this in a different color. Watch this. If I had this angle, and I put a little box right there, how many degrees is that angle? It's 90 degrees, right? It's a right angle, it's 90 degrees. Now, let's stick another side in there like this. And I'm going to number it. We'll call this top angle 1. We'll call this bottom one 2. 
Now look at 1 and 2 this time. Do one, does angle 1 and 2 add up to 180 this time? No, they don't. Well, but what do they make? What do they add up to? 90 degrees. That's right. Because if I take angle 1, angle 1 would go to here, wouldn't it? And angle 2 would go all the way down here. What's that whole angle? It's 90 degrees. So we don't call these supplementary angles. We call them complementary angles. Write that down. Complementary angles. Remember, complementary angles are angles that do what? They add up to 90 degrees. Not 180, but 90 degrees. They're complementary angles. Now, a lot of people get a little confused between the two. Which one's complement, which one's supplement? If you look at it, just look at the uh, numerical order, alphabetical order. Okay, Complement starts with what? C. And supplement starts with S. Well, C comes before S in the alphabet, doesn't it? All right, what about 90 and 180? Which one comes first? 90. So 90 goes with complementary and what? 180 goes with supplementary. All right, so that's a nice easy way to remember which one goes with what. All right, complementary is 90, supplementary is 180. C comes before S, 90 comes before 180. All right, so those two go together and these two go together. Does that make sense? I mean, it's not like some crazy trick to remember. It's just alphabetical order, right? Alphabetical order numerical order. If you can remember that, you remember which one goes with what. All right. Um, so let's do a little bit of what we were doing before with the numbers. We'll stick some numbers in here. Uh, let's, go pink. Uh, let's say I said that that was 30 degrees right there. If this was 30 degrees, what's this angle up here going to be? It's going to be 60 degrees. And what math did you do to get 60 degrees? Subtracted it from what? From 90, right. You went 90 minus 30, didn't you? Okay. Oops. What if this was um, 20 degrees? Then what would this angle right here be? 70 degrees. Again, what math did you do? You went 90. You went 90 minus 20, right? And then before, you went 90 minus 30. Everybody with me? Okay. Let's get rid of all this. All right, uh, just do one more. Let's say if this was 10 degrees. If this is 10 degrees, what would this angle right here be? It would be 80 degrees. All right, follow me? So one is a, is a complement of the other. So 80 degrees is a complement of 10 degrees. Or you could go the other way. You could say 10 degrees is a complement of 80 degrees. They're complements of each other. Complement means they do what? Add up to 90 degrees. And I think, you know, they don't. They I just happen to put them next to each other, right? They could be any, they could be completely separate angles, but as long as they add up to 90, then they're complementary angles. That's a good question. All right, look at this right here. What if I said that this was X degrees? What would this angle right here be? Good. See, now you're catching on, right? Now you understood about the supplementary. The same thing works with complementary, except it's 90 instead of 180. That's the only difference. Make sense? So if they give an expression, if they give some number seven, let me see your paper again. Number seven says, find the measures of an angle. So what would I call that angle if they said that? Find a measure of an angle. Call it x, right. And it's what? Are you looking at number 7? Find the measure of an angle, and it's what? Complement. Okay, so the angle itself is going to be what? Well, the angle itself is x, and what's the complement of the angle? 90 minus x, and it's going to tell you to do some stuff, right? It's going to say one is more than the other, or it's going to say it's so many degrees more than the other, and that kind of stuff. All right, but I want you to understand what this means. This means when they say an angle, you just use x for the angle. If they say the complement, I'll just shorten it, complement of an angle, then you would use this thing right here, 90 minus x. Jot that down somewhere because you're going to have problems. You're going to have a quiz on this eventually, and you're going to have a problem, a word problem, where it's going to say it's going to talk about an angle, and it's going to talk about its complement. So you use x for the angle, and you use 90 minus x for its complement. It's the same thing for supplement, except instead of 90, it's what? For supplement. Instead of 90, it's what? It's 180, right. It would be 180. Everybody with me? All right. So let's see what else we got there. Um, let's just do this real quick. I don't know if we've officially said this. I think we said this the other day. If 
but this is like this is like officially saying it right now. Now, right now, those two lines right there. What do you think might be true about those two lines, mm -hmm. or what do you think is true? Well, we're talking about the angles. We're not talking about the lengths of the. You think that's ninety right there? Do you know for sure it's ninety? Why do you say it's ninety? Because it what? Because it kind of looks like it, right? Well, just because it looks like it, does it mean it is? You got to be told. This is very important. What I'm saying right here is really, really important. You can't, you can't make any assumptions about this. Now, it sure looks like it's ninety, doesn't it? All right, looks pretty close to me. But you can't just say it's 90 unless they tell you it's 90 degrees. How could they tell you it's 90 degrees? That little box, okay? And a lot of times they'll, they'll do that. They'll say that little box right there, okay? What, sometimes they don't tell you that box. Sometimes they'll say this. We'll call this line L and we'll call this line M, all right? Sometimes they're going to say that line L, and we used this word the other day, is perpendicular. Do you remember hearing that word? It's perpendicular to line M. Let's write that word down. Perpendicular. Now it doesn't mean opposite necessarily. It kind of looks like it's opposite. It looks like it's going the opposite direction, kind of thing, but kind of maybe. It's probably not the best use of that word, but look what it does. If it's perpendicular, if two lines are perpendicular, they form a right angle. Okay, so if I told you that line L was perpendicular, or if the book told you that line L was perpendicular to line M, then could you say this was 90 degrees? Yeah, you could, because the definition of perpendicular is basically this. It's two lines that form a right angle. I'll just shorthand it, right angle, okay? My writing is pretty sloppy. I'm writing too fast. But anyway, it's two lines that form a right angle. So any two lines. Now, you say, well, that doesn't look like a line. It looks like a line segment. But you can kind of keep thinking that this keeps going through, right? If you wanted to, you could imagine this just going all the way through like this. All right, still perpendicular. All right, so if I told you that they're perpendicular, that means that it makes a right angle. But just having the picture there without any box, without them telling you that it forms a right angle, you wouldn't be able to say one way or the other. Okay, so don't make any assumptions about it. Now let me show you the little, um, uh, the little way to uh, the symbol for perpendicular. It's basically just two up and down lines. Oops, sorry. That's parallel. It's, it's a line that looks like this. Okay? That's supposed to be straight. But it's just one up, one across like this. That's the sign for perpendicular. So if I said that line L was perpendicular to line M, I would put an L here and an M here. Instead of writing out that whole word perpendicular, I would just put L in this little perpendicular sign to M. Everybody see that? So that's what perpendicular means. So if I told you or if the book told you that L is perpendicular to M, then you knew that you have a right angle right there. Does that make sense? Okay. And that's pretty important. A lot of times it's, it's important to know that. Uh, sometimes they'll do this. I'll tell you what. Let's, um, I'm going to do this example on page 49 for you. 